Welcome back to Side 5 Gaming. This is MS Check. Right now it's the RGM 79GS. The GM command space type. This one uh, just dropped not too long ago along with the latest banner with the full armor Gundam, the OG full armor Gundam. There's also a ground type version. Hopefully I get one of those so I can do a little MS Chuck on that one as well. Love this suit in battle record. Comes in at 18 meters tall, 76.5 tons in weight. Great looking paint job for as simple as it is. I've always really liked this one. Super cool, simple design. Alright, get into the stats. This thing's, uh, level 1 comes in at a cost of 250 with uh, 9,750 HP. We have 10 for ballistic resistance, 10 for beam resistance, 4 for melee resistance, 20 for shooting bonus, 5 for melee bonus, 120 top speed, and it looks like 60 for the booster rating. Coming into the skills now, for the first one we have the EAC, then we have performance balancer for the second one. Uh, allows you to melee after dashing, then we have fight control which allows you to do two melee hits. A combo and the last one is just a radar enhancer it allows you to see pilots while they're flying around as well as extra range uh, checking out checking out the uh, beam gun that it comes with looking at it in my inventory it's interesting to note that not only can this gun be used obviously by the other command but it looks like it can be used by the GM sniper too uh, that is super interesting to me to see what kind of loadouts uh, we could put together in that thing when I get it hopefully. Uh, looking at the weapon directly itself is 830 damage base damage, a 300 meter range with a 50 for the capacity. Now most of the weapons that we've seen lately, the machine guns and the beams, they go out to 250 so this has an extra 50 meter range so I really expect that to be the difference in combat especially for the expert pilots out there now getting into the game footage I've been trying to get into a game with this thing forever all day I tried custom matches I tried quick match I tried everything but I said screw it I want to get the footage out there I want to test it out so I just went into the space free play and started test driving this bad boy and it's great I, I love doing this just roaming around freely checking it out seeing the way it works checking out the roll and the invasion and then what we're mainly going to do what I really wanted to get at is testing the range of this new weapon I don't think we've seen anything that shoots exactly 300 meters uh, checking out how many times we can fire it until it overheats here so a good amount of, a good amount of a, a decent rate of fire you can tell that for the damage that it puts out they slow down your, uh, your, your rate of fire so it definitely takes some time to reload in between shots uh, but if you're used to using the beam spray gun, it shouldn't be too big of a difference. Now, this is one thing I talk to my friends a lot about, about the maximum ranges of the weapons maybe not being as exact as they say in the stats. And what I mean by that is, what you'll see here is coming up is, I'm backing all the way up to where it's still blue, and I should still, you, you know, whenever the reticle is blue, you should score a hit. Now, there's a lot of weapons where you can back up to where... Just outside that blue range, the reticle will turn white, but you'll still land hits. And also, as you see here, once I get outside of range, so here we are, now it's white, not landing any hits. Obviously the little uh, light armor is a little closer, so definitely gonna land hits on that. But what's interesting is if you notice, when I'm zoomed out, the reticle is white. Zooming back in, the reticle turns blue. So can't make a hit right there or there but then if we zoom in it turns blue and we make the shot. That's really interesting. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that or what's going on there. Um, I guess maybe that's just the attack bonus? That's what I'm thinking. It's the attack bonus that you get from zooming in. It adds a, a, a slight bit of range possibly to the weapon. <laughs> testing out the uh, the quick spin there. Not a lot of people knew about that in the beginning. Uh, one of my friends told me about it. I mean, did it by accident. It's really cool. So, going to its melee combo, it's 
standard melee attack is really interesting. Remember, this suit can only be used in space. So, its melee attacks, I guess, are more suited for space. So there's a two-hit combo right there, but its first neutral attack, he actually does a step forward before he does his upward swing. Really interesting, really cool. So in that first swing, he covers a decent bit of ground, taking a large step forward and then swinging the sword. Really, really neat. And then obviously you can follow it up with a uh, stat swipe or a knockback attack uh, for space combat. It's also equipped with Vulcans, of course, uh, which are always, always nice for space combat to keep the pressure up on the enemy. Right here we're testing the maximum range uh, of the weapons. I'm taking area left and right to see you know, how far I can hit somebody on, on either side of me with a, a left or right swipe. Vulcan shooting really fast. And I think we, yeah, we're going to test out the max range on those Vulcans. Really cool to see them from the uh, scope there. Really neat to see those, those tracers coming off the top of the scope into the enemy. A little bit of bonus there, but I think it bumps it up to about 83 damage when you fire the Vulcans scoped in like that. Not as easy to track targets because uh, the ASL system doesn't work when you're zoomed in, but you do get a bonus. So if you're kneeling down and you're just going to be shooting some of the Vulcans, you know, and, and on the ground in the suit that does, try and zoom in. You know, get get that extra range bonus and extra damage bonus. So you can see here we're testing the testing the range on those. And then we're just gonna have some fun flying around with it. Another cool feature that I like and if they're using space a lot is that you can fire your Vulcans while you're boosting. Uh, one of the things some other people didn't quite know about. Since uh, we since the game started, so O always important to, to note that when you're retreating, you can't just pull straight back and dump on people with the Vulcans. Now we're just going to jump out of the suit and get a good look at it. Really enjoy these models. Again, I always said I really like the paint job on this. It's simple, but I've adjusted this one to be a little bit more like the battle record one. The battle, the one in battle record had a little bit deeper red uh, in the chest area and everywhere. They they use that crimson color. But anyway, uh, sorry we couldn't get any combat footage. Hopefully that's going to come up soon. But anyway, that's MS Check for the GM Command Space Type. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time out here on Side 5 Gaming. Later.